hello, hello, my space friends. We are back. Kill two and myself, Zastro, are ready for the next match, which is Triple A against a Dark Horse team. Why so serious? Um, both teams have three Merlins, which makes me happy. I love Merlins. What do you think about these setups, Kill Two? Well, uh, I mean, the um, Triple A team is the exact same setup we just saw RVB field, the double Slipner Scimitar triple Merlin setup, which seemed pretty strong. I mean, granted, they were against the same thing, so I guess one team had to win, but I think that's really, really solid. Um, Macarials, so far in the tournament, tested only with a tank that used shields and armor, so. Hard to say exactly how viable those are, but uh, it'll be, I think, a tough fight here for Why So Serious. They are going to have this problem of being pinned down by Slipners, which are starting very close to them. So Maybe Macarils their are... Macarials are dual tanked, which uh, has worked so far in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, I think the problem isn't going to be the tanking, it's going to be the killing. Um, they're going to be pinned here with these Slipners at the middle of the field, and they're going to potentially have a hard time getting damage on that scimitar. It looks to me like actually the uh, Macarials aren't even really making an effort to move around. Look at one of those Merlins. Slowly. And uh, they're, they're kind of just sitting. Maybe they're already fit, but they're not really doing any damage. I mean, as you can see, scimitar taking just a little bit of damage, and other than that, not much happening. And I guess the uh, against all authorities, Slipners are working on support for now. You can see, oh, probably the reason there's no damage is those damps. Because there's they're damps. all being damped, yep. Yep, by, on everything, which is part of what makes the Merlin so strong. But now the, they've caught up with uh, some of the AAA guys, and uh, they've been tackled, so uh, maybe they can get close enough to do some damage now. The Macarials, they're not moving really anywhere. I mean, they're, well, I guess they're picking up speed a little bit. They're going like 500 now. Which is probably a micro warp speed under web. No, it doesn't look like they're webbed. Um, and they are trying to make their way. Uh, I think they're scrammed. So that hmm? they're afterburners. Afterburners would be pretty interesting. <laughs> um, another Merlin going down now for Why So Serious. And actually, it's really important. I mean, the, a lot of being able to wield your DPS effectively and get tackles on ships that you need to bring down is related to this support battle going on so losing Merlin you know one team having three Merlins against uh, a team that has uh, no Merlins is a really big deal yep uh, why so serious has lost all of their tacklers now so uh, against all authorities is going to be able to completely dictate the range uh, of this match now as I have been looks, from the outset really it looks like uh, the Macarials have kind of given up on being able to DPS the scimitar even though there's still some damage remaining, and now they're trying to do some work on one of the Slipners, which is actually going all right. Um, you can see he's getting repped back, and uh, well, they're doing a lot of damage, though. They might actually have a chance here. Yeah, that Slipner, uh, he's taking some big hits. And uh, they're but he's getting repped by the Scimitar, so... Mm. Right, he's getting repped by the Scimitar, but... Um, he, he, they're doing a lot of damage. I, w I mean, I would have thought they'd have had a hard time getting him even that low with just the two Macarils. It's really too bad they don't have any other support left. Um, they're they are was, in armor, though. Well, that damage that they did was pretty much all alpha, and once the Scimitar was able to react and get the reps on, uh, he, he's able to keep it alive. Um, I don't think that AAA is going to lose any ships, uh, although as I'm saying that, the Slepner has taken more ar armor bleed through, so... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're able to do a whole ton of damage. I see one thing that's really weird. One of the Macarials, the Nemesis Matar, looks to me like he's orbiting. He's going like 500 meters a second and flying around the Slipner in circles, which is really, really detrimental to your ability to uh, output damage. And I don't know why he would be doing that. He should probably just be sitting still like the other one is. The other one's just sitting at zero. You can see, you can see the one flying in front of you and then the one sitting still next to the Slipner. And the one sitting still is probably doing a lot more damage than the one flying around in circles. Although well, now he's, he's more getting away from it, which is better. Yeah, he's flying in a straight line. He's not really flying around in circles. So I don't know how bad that's going to be messing up his transversal. But ah. it's not making too much difference because now uh, the he's first- He's in structure and- he's yeah, in structure. And maybe that's what he was doing. Maybe he's just trying to pull range to keep his ability to tank up a little bit longer. I don't know. They, I think they were instantly boosted. Actually, they were definitely running in Voln fields, and uh, I did see shield booster graphics. So um, maybe just trying to get range so that he can tank a little while longer. But that didn't work out, and he's dead now. Yep. And uh, why so serious? Managed to kill a Merlin, which is, I believe, going to be the only points that they score this entire match. Two points. Better than getting <laughs> shut out, I guess. It, it is, is better, better than, than shut out. It's going to be hard unless they can. 
I mean, you really kind of need more than just one frig kill, <laughs> but um, <laughs> all the points do count. I mean, it, it does matter how much you kill, even if you lose, so. At least they can say they did better than get off my lawn. That's true. That's true. Um, looking here for other, I mean, interesting things for the setup going forward. I really, I, it seems like this Slipner base setup is going to be pretty effective, so um, I don't know, it'll be interesting, I guess, moving forward uh, through today and into tomorrow if we see anything that really puts up a good fight against it. It looks like battleships probably are not the way, um, at least not used like this. Maybe the Vargers would be better. I don't remember exactly what they fought against. It's hard to uh, cram a battleship into these 6v6. They take up so many points, and it's when there's so few ships fielded, like with that Varger lineup, you're so susceptible to E-War uh, with just having less ships on the field. Right, right, yeah, it, it, it is a big gamble because, um, yeah, if they have a way of disabling or controlling those one or two ships where you have all your points centered, it's very hard to, to get anything done. Uh, there goes the la second Macario, so a quick oh. uh, two. Why so serious? Wipe They're a very there. new alliance. I was looking at the corporations in them. Uh, they, as far as I can tell, these are all, it's a brand new alliance with brand new corps from all over the place. They don't really have much history, so it was uh, interesting to see their entry here into the alliance tournament. AAA, of course, being a uh, long-term veteran, and their experience has proven to be a strength here. AAA completely defeating Why So Serious, and that does it for this match. We will clean up these corpses from the field and see you in a few minutes.